Fox News at 9. Some local Native Americans will represent North Dakota next week's presidential inauguration ceremonies in Washington, D.C. 47 members of the tribes of North Dakota, ranging in age from 7 to 63, will walk the 15-block parade route. Fox reporter Eric Crouch caught up with a few members of the delegation, and he has the story. Serve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. The chance to witness history was an early holiday treat for Prairie Rose Seminole. The Friday before Christmas, we got a call from the inaugural committee saying, we don't have a delegation from North Dakota. Would you be able to put something together with the North Dakota tribes? They had to be cleared by the Secret Service before the new year. So Prairie Rose sprang into action, putting together a delegation in a little more than a week and getting money for the trip from the tribal council. We have to fund this on our own. So to get the response that we did from those groups was phenomenal. It just, uh, I'm so grateful for a lot of those folks just pulling together our resources in a short time. Dr. Twyla Baker Demery and Michael Mudgett are grateful for the once in a lifetime opportunity to make this historic trip. I don't even know if it'll hit me until after I get back. <laughs> 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 and, then I'll, and then when I actually see like the photos of it or whatever, and then I'll be, I'll be able to say to my kids and to my grandkids, I was telling people I'm going, and they're like, you know, you'll be part of history, and you're going to especially with this group. So it's just exciting. Exciting. Dr. Baker Demery and Mudgett show a pride in their culture with the work they do on studies like this one with the Native Health Research Center here at the University of North Dakota. And they say they're honored to represent their respective tribes next week in Washington, D.C. To represent my own people uh, in the inauguration probably the greatest thing. Prairie Rose says what she loves the most about the parade trip is allowing children in the delegation to have this unprecedented experience. To see their eyes just light up and say everything's taken care of and you're going to be able to wave to President Obama and Vice President Biden and whoever else is within their party and they have credentials from the Secret Service. Like that just, I mean, how cool is that? Cooler than a North Dakota night in January. Eric Crouch, Fox News. Most of the North Dakota delegation will leave for D.C. on a chartered bus Saturday morning at 5 a.m., returning the following Tuesday. Well, our weather 